Welcome to our Women's Talk segment, and we have Danny here, who is gracing us with her presence again. I just love being in, in, in fellowship communication with her. She has Thank such you. a warm spirit and a beautiful heart. You do. And, um, you know, I take pleasure in calling you my sister. And ladies, yes. uh, we as women, we need to come together and embrace each other, you know. Um, I just, I just, I just want to share this part. God thought so much of us when we were created that he gave each one of us an individual fingerprint, none like any other. So just embrace the beauty that you have within yourself. And as we continue to walk through and unfold, you know, we don't have to be, um, we don't have to be jealous of one another. We don't have to be envious of one another. We can embrace each other and love on one another because, you know, God gave you your own beautiful you know, blueprint of yourself, you yes. know, and, and we say embrace that. And the same thing with myself and you and the ladies that are watching. So, you know, self-care and self-determination is what we've been talking about and where we're going to go, you know, today as Danny unfolds some more of her story. But it's just very, very important that we learn self-care. And, you know, if it's something that, that we need to, to work on, you know, um, hey, work on it and just be the best you that you can be. So Absolutely. with that being said, I just I want to welcome you back and thank you thank so much you. for being here. Thank you. Um, so I just wanted to talk more about the support system that mm -hmm. I've had throughout this journey. Mm -hmm. um, going back to when we spoke the first time when I told you about um, my ex-husband and how I had to leave that situation. Mm -hmm. I was in a situation where I felt like I couldn't leave, where I felt like I didn't have support. Even though I have family, mm -hmm. it was just, you know, I felt, I felt bad mm -hmm. about the situation that, that I was in. in. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like it was my fault that I couldn't make my marriage work. Mm -hmm. And I just kept telling, when, once I finally admitted to my dad and my sister what was going on, mm -hmm. I just sat and I, I cried. I mm -hmm. just cried and I said, mm -hmm. you know, I have no place to go. I, I'm, mm -hmm. There's no place for me to go. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, my dad and my sister were both sitting there and they were like, what do you mean you don't have any place to go? Uh, they were yeah. like, of course you have some place to go. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I, I did. I moved back home with my dad. That mm -hmm. kind of made me feel some type of way because, you know, I was like, well, I'm grown and I shouldn't be living back mm -hmm. at home with my daddy, mm -hmm. And but mm -hmm. I have a great family. So wow. they helped me through all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and then to fast forward now to mm -hmm. my journey to lose weight, I still have this amazing, amazing support system. Okay. And it's not just my dad and my sister, it's my friends who I consider them my sisters as well. Mm -hmm. um, and like I mentioned before, once I finally admitted to them, you know, what my weight was, how bad I was feeling, how my knees hurt all the time, how my back hurt all the mm -hmm. time, um, they were supportive in whatever I wanted to do. Let me ask you something too. Let's jump, just jump back into mm -hmm. the part about the picture that we tell ourselves versus the reality of what's true. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and sometimes that's some... Um, undiagnosed anxiety that we mm -hmm. have to that we that we work that we have to work through but again all of it is becoming aware of that being an issue um, so when you said that you have a, a a loving family and support system but you were inside of your head saying mm -hmm. I'm you know this is again we were talking about self-talk yeah and what do you tell yourself yeah and so you were telling yourself some of these things that you know were your reality, but it wasn't but it actually wasn't. the reality. Right. Yeah. Wow, that is so important. I'm glad yeah. you touched on that because yeah. that's important. I, I was telling myself, <laughs> even though I I know my family and I know that my dad and my sister wouldn't have turned their backs on me, it mm -hmm. was still, you know, I'm supposed to try to make this marriage work. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to do this. I can't leave because of ABC, mm -hmm. and I can't move back home because of this. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, I talked myself into that. Absolutely. I talked myself into believing that the reason my ex-husband did or said the things that he said to me was my fault. Absolutely. So did you did you come to the awareness that um, it was it it came from him? It wasn't about you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you remember what when you came to that? Like sometimes it's an epiphany, it's a light that comes on. Sometimes it's over time, 
It was over mm -hmm. time um, mm -hmm. because immediately after I left, it was still that saying, you know, you should you should have did this to make mm -hmm. it better. You mm -hmm. should have maybe supported this a little bit better or you could have been a better wife by doing this. Mm -hmm. So it was that probably for about a year or two after that I was still saying, well, maybe if I did this, then mm -hmm. maybe he would have did this. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I continued to blame myself and then at, I, I don't remember the exact moment, but then right. it finally <laughs> dawned on me. It was like, no, that wasn't you. Mm -hmm. That that wasn't your fault. Mm -hmm. What happened? So absolutely. Yeah. But like you're saying though, and I think that's important that we give ourselves that that leeway to say that it's over time. It's yeah. not overnight. So it's something that we have to be consistent about. It's something that we have to, you know, just like we feed into those negative thoughts mm -hmm. and those negative conversations. Yeah. We also now have to say, wait and do a paradigm shift, if you will, right. and say, okay, now I have to nurture this, yes. you know, and if I let this get depleted, because oftentimes that's what an abuser does, mm -hmm. he depletes you, yeah. or she, because, right. you know, we talk about the, the male part of it, but depletes you. Yeah. And, it, and it's really hard when you are depleted to have the, the, the tenacity and the energy yeah. and the strength and even to the wherewithal to build yourself back up. That's yeah. why it's important that we don't let our tanks get empty, just like exactly. a car. You can't let it get empty because as soon as it get like you know to that E, and we all say, "Wait a minute, ka -kunk, ka -kunk, ka -kunk, right. ka Now we trying to go through life. <laughs> man, you're ka -kunk, completely ka -kunk, ka -kunk, drained, right? right. <laughs> you're completely drained, and like, man, I'm tired. Yeah. It's like burnout. Yeah. I am exhausted. Exhausted. I just want to go here and pull the covers <laughs> over my head, right? And just stay there. And just stay there but in see, that space. And when you do that, you can't get the beautiful results that you've been able to obtain. True. So Very can you true. tell us a little bit more about that journey? Cause, yes. Yeah. Um, so. Like I mentioned before, when we came back uh, from my birthday, that's when I really decided this is what I'm going to do. And mm -hmm. then, like I was saying with my friends, they've been so supportive as far as, like, we'll go out of town. We'll go on trips or something. Mm -hmm. And if we're staying at an Airbnb or something, mm -hmm. um, whatever I eat, mm -hmm. they eat. Oh, wow. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's what you call your girls. <laughs> right. Those are and your it's girls. never, I never expected them to do that mm -hmm. because it's like, okay, you're not changing your eating habits and that's fine, mm -hmm. but I, this is what I'm going to eat. And mm -hmm. so like when we go grocery shopping, they're like, okay, this is what you're going to have. This is what we're going to have. Mm -hmm. When we went to um, Miami last, mm -hmm. last, that was last year, okay. um, in July, um, Every place we went, my girlfriend made sure that there were options for me. Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> that's sisterhood. That's the sisterhood is. I'm talking about. It is. It that's absolutely the sisterhood is. I'm talking about. And even though, like, because my dad is older, so he doesn't understand totally my eating habits. Mm -hmm. And he'll still offer me, you know, what I've been eating for 40 how many ever years. Right. You know, he'll say, yeah. you know, I got some Doritos in here you want. I'm like, no, daddy, I don't eat Doritos <laughs> no more. And mm -hmm. he's just like, mm -hmm. oh, well, I don't know, but right. okay. And mm -hmm. he doesn't he doesn't say anything about it. My sister, you know, the same thing when mm -hmm. we were celebrating the holidays. She asked me, okay, what can you eat? What do mm, you want to eat? What what specific thing do you need to be on this menu so that you can eat? Okay. And see. so it's it you have to have that support system no matter what it is, what what habit you're trying to change, mm -hmm. if it's, you know, your eating habits, if it's some type of addiction or anything, you have to have that support system. Mm -hmm. And it's really mm. it's really helped me because I know that if I didn't have that support that that would be one of my downfalls. That is so important. And, you know, I just want to touch a little bit on if you don't have that support system, you know, like birthed into your birth family or what have you, yeah. but something I heard you say, your girls. Mm -hmm. So you can go out and you can meet people. You know, it's important that you don't allow yourself to be um, cocooned in by yourself yes. and that you don't allow somebody else to um, put you in a, in, a, in, a, in a space where you're disconnected from everyone. Absolutely. There are, there are um, community groups, there are support groups, there's, you know, all types of activities that you can get involved in. And when you get involved in those, you start to, and, and, and depending on what, you know, what your, um, what your likes are, and, and that's important to understand. I've asked so many women, mm -hmm. what do you like to do? 
Right. And it takes a minute or so, even longer. Some are still waiting yeah. for the answer from <laughs> because they don't know. Yeah. But it's important in order to keep yourself safe and keep yourself protected. You have to know yourself and you have to start learning how to love yes. yourself. And that's not just a cliche, but learning how to love yourself um, and then uh, and then, you know, taking the steps to really get to know yourself. Right. And not and not seeing what somebody else's interpretation of you is. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I love that that you you know you talked about well your 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 girls and then your family support mm -hmm. and and if you don't automatically have it then build it. Yeah. Yeah. Surround yourself with people <clears throat> who can support whatever mm -hmm. your goal is. Absolutely. Because I'm I'm a part of a lot of different groups on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, that are keto groups and I see so many times women that are talking about their spouses don't support them and like they're sabotaging them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so, so real. Yeah. It's so real. Yeah. And, and talking down <clears throat> to them mm -hmm. because they're trying to better themselves because mm -hmm. they're trying to, to get the excess weight off or go to the gym. And it's, it, it blows my mind mm -hmm. because I've not experienced that. In, right. in this journey. It, mm -hmm. I haven't experienced that at all. And mm -hmm. it, it, it hurts my heart for them mm -hmm. that they have, you know, they're living in a household with someone that doesn't support them. Absolutely. Absolutely. And is, is actively sabotaging their efforts. Now, hear what she just said. You can be in a relationship with someone and they actively sabotage your success. I mean, and, and I repeat those things because I've experienced it. Mm -hmm. And I say, I, I say my pain was not in vain because as you're going through that whole cycle of abuse and negativity and such, yeah. you don't understand. I understand now that that was all for a greater purpose. It was for such a time as now. Right. I'm getting to meet beautiful people. I'm getting to meet people that aspire to, to do more with themselves, people that are not intimidated by other people's success. Mm -hmm. And we're coming together, and yeah. we are doing so much more together, like being able to bring you this information. Exactly. You know? And so you know, I, you know, I applaud us <laughs> <laughs> for coming together and saying, and we're not just going to, you know, die in our pain or just right. be in our pain. We're going to take that and use it to catapult us into something great. And, exactly. You know, and so. Um, That's beautiful. I'm just, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm excited. I just, my adrenaline gets the, pump, get the pumping and everything. I'm I know. Right, you know, before we get ready we to tape, and I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> but um, is there anything that you, anything more that you want to bring as we wrap up this session? And um, um, just the, just the, the, it, it hit me this morning to talk about this, to talk about the support. And mm -hmm. with it being over the holidays and it can get kind of difficult, especially when people are alone and don't have that support. Mm -hmm. So it just, it tugged on my heart today to wow. kind of go from what we were talking about last week and mm -hmm. just, you know, kind of focus on the whole support part, so. That is wonderful. And thank you for listening and, and doing you. and being obedient to that. <laughs> and um, so, you know, we just wanted to leave you with the understanding that you are not alone. Um, we are here to give a hand up. And, you know, just tune in to our podcast and we'll continue to pour our hearts out and be transparent so that exactly. we know that, you know, once again, our pain was not in vain and that we can, you know, just reach you and be able to offer some assistance. So, again, thank you for watching.